Okay, now um, I have been requested by one of the listeners or viewers to do um, a whole past paper of um, C12 and um, requested me to do uh, summer 2017 C12. I am International A level, IAL, um, LXL. So I'm going to get started with that. I normally just do requests for students who ask particular questions, but this student is want, wants me to do the whole of a one paper. So I'll just go ahead and start doing that now. Okay, let me just... Okay, so we've got an arithmetic sequence has a first term of 6 and a common difference of 10. Okay, so the first term of the sequence is 6 and the common difference is 10. Now it's an arithmetic sequence. Right, arithmetic sequence. So we have to use a formula for arithmetic sequences. Okay, so there are two formulae that actually on the formula book even if you uh, forget them, but after doing lots of practice you probably won't need to look at it. So the, the formula for t to find a particular term in the sequence is given by un, means the term that you want is a plus n minus 1 times d. And the sum of the first n terms is n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Okay, so question part a is asking us to find a particular term. Find the 15th term of the sequence. Now the 15th term of the sequence is going to be, okay, when n equals 15. And we're going to use the formula un equals a plus n minus 1 times d for this one. And that's a d there. And we know the first term a is 6. The common difference d is 10. So the 15th term is going to be given by a, which is 6, plus n, which is 15, 15 minus 1, which is 14, times d, which is 10. So that's 140 plus 6, which is 146. Okay, that's the answer for question part A. Now part B, we want to find the sum of the first um, 50, uh, 20 terms, the sum of the first 20 terms. So we've got to find S20. Okay, and we know in this question, again, A equals 6 and D equals 10. Okay, so the sum of the first 20 terms Okay, using the formula above is n over 2, I'll just put it up a bit, so n over 2, which is 20 over 2, which is 10, times a, 2a, so it's 2 times 6, plus n minus 1, which is going to be 19, times d, which is 10. Okay, so if we simplify, we're going to get, what we Work, work out what this is. We're going to have the sum of the first 20 terms is going to be 10 times 12 plus 190. 190. So that's going to give us 10 times 202. So 202. Okay, and 10 times 202 is 2020. So a zero. And there we have the answer for question number one, part A and B. Okay, so there, pretty simple question um, answered. So I'll get on with the next question in the next video.